come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey to Craft and how you guys doing today? So what I want to do today is we put up this um this balloon arch maybe about two to two and a half weeks ago and I want to show you guys how I take it down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start um, taking the leaves off. Um, it's not that many, but I did throw some leaves in there. And guys, once again, I'm working by myself. I'm doing a camera. I'm going to be doing balloons. I'm going to be doing moving things and shuffling things. So guys, bear with me. Um, so right now, I'm going to I'm going to um, take the, the leaves off. That's the first thing. And guys, I'm going to be all over the place because again, I'm doing this by myself. Right. So let me start by taking the leaves off. The, the, um, the, the reason why I take them off is because, yes ma'am, I wipe them down and I reuse them. And guys, these balloons have been up here for a while and they're starting to um, soften up. So it's time for it to come down. But you gotta stay to the end because I got a treat for you guys at the end. So don't go nowhere. Okay, so a little bit more on this side. Nope. I'm going to, I hope you can come with me because, like I said, let me just move the camera a little bit over so you guys can see me. Okay. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to be moving that camera up and down because I want you guys to see the bottom, how I cut, cut it off and all kind of things. And you're going to have to go to the top and, you know, it's going to be a lot of moving. And I don't have my camera, girl, so I'm doing editing by myself. So that's it. We got a couple up there, and I'm going to have to stand up there. Now, right now, like I said, it's kind of flimsy because all the air is coming out. You know, they, they I think it's called oxidizing. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it's called. You know, you know, see the color is it's dulling out, and it's looking a little bit dull. And you can't see it, but it's a white film on it. And um, yeah, so it's time for them. As you can see, the small ones are deflating, right? So let's just start cutting off. Let's do that. So it's full of air. It um it helps control. Um, this pole that's holding them up there. And that way you guys can really see um, the tools, the, um, exactly what the, um, the pole that's going around look like. Because I don't know if I showed you guys that. But I'm going to move the camera over a little bit. And we're gonna go down so you can see the bottom. I took it down on show in one of my videos. Um, 
how I would use them. So what I would do for these here, if I choose, if I chose to reuse them, I'm gonna bring it in so you can see. If you can see, you see how they turn in like white. See the white in there? And then it's time for them to go. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll get rid of my balloons. I put them in um, a brown paper bag or um, a plastic bag. I just take them all and put them in there. Instead of just throwing them in the garbage, um, I don't do it that way. Uh, maybe I have some concerns about. Uh, I think it just be much easier for them to get rid of them once you get to the landfill. You know, you see a bag full of um, balloons, and you know, it'll be much easier. For you. So, what you could do is, I just punch a hole in there, and you see the hole there, and just push the air out. My dog hates the sound of balloons being popped, it scares him, so he'll run in the room. And you gotta see him. When I'm putting him up, he already knows something is gonna break, so pop up. He's out. That's just compromising the little sweet. You guys can see, I'm going to bring you in to show you that I was discussing with you guys. Where is it? That piece right there is filled with cement. That's what make that very, 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 very heavy. And um, I believe, I never took this outside, but I believe I can take this outside and won't have to worry about the, um, um, the wind pushing it um, or blowing it down and I don't know if you can see but I do have it tied here this comes with the um, with the piece it's like a I don't know it's feel like a bungee rope and so what I did is I tied it to it you see that so it won't move but I gave it enough room to sway okay so that's one that's how that one works. in place right you see that that's why I tell you guys I don't worry about this thing falling because this you have to tape it down the two pieces I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we finish this here. Still got a lot of earrings. When I made this video, I told you guys these balloons were overfilled. I just want you to check these out. You see, when I say you could reuse some of them, these are the ones that I told you in the video that I overfilled. And you can hear the difference between the pop with the overfilling. Now, this is the one. Now, watch this. See, so you hear the sound? You can tell when it's overfilled.
go so you can see the top. That's where we're going. On the top. Hey guys, welcome to my house. I'm always showing my little place, introducing you to my living room. Um, I don't have a space where I just do, you know, my crafting. If it's not in my bedroom, it's in my living room. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bust the, the, uh, the rest of these balloons. I'm going to sweep the floor and I'm going to be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm back and um, I'm going to show you guys right now how I um, start taking the bottom um, piece apart. Um, I'm going to have to bring the camera all the way down to the floor in order for you to see that. So, guys, I told you we're going to be all over the place today all over the place and i'm so sorry but i don't have my camera girl with me once again so we're gonna do this I, I i started to put it off but i said you know what no we're gonna do this so guys bear with me please just bear with me so i'm gonna bring you guys down okay so you see the string here i tied it a couple of times and let's see if we can, um, oh, this thing is so heavy. Let's see if we can get it apart. I don't know if I tied it in a knot. Oh my God, it might be much harder than I thought it was going to be. This bottom part is um, almost off. I think I'm gonna go take the tape off the top part. All right, cause see this can come up right now. So I'm gonna put you back on the table. So what I did was, I took the tape off, um, as you see the silver spot here, that's where the connections, um, to connect each, um, the two poles together. Um, I, I left this piece here because I wanted to show you guys. All I did was I took a piece of black tape and I wrapped it around to keep it in place. And that's what I was telling you guys. If you're gonna buy something like this, make sure you use the strongest Gorilla Tape they have in the store, and that will keep it together, and you will never have to worry about it um, um, coming apart. See right here, what I did was I take this as close as possible um, to this base here with the black tape, which I just cut off, and that kept it in place, okay? I mean, they just want you to stick it down in there like that. It's not gonna work, guys. I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to come apart. And there we go. So we're going to start breaking it down. We're going to take it apart just like this. It's just, just, just how easy it is. This is how it's connected. So all you would have to do is put it in, like this here, all the way around. And it, it comes with more pieces. I have more pieces. 
like I said, this this room arch can be very, very, very large. Um, I think I had three more pieces to put in. And I should have took the measurement from this wall to this wall to let you guys know just how um, big this thing is. This thing is really big. You know, sometimes when you purchase things, you're like, oh, why did I purchase that? Guys, this right here, I'm very glad I purchased it. This right here, <clears throat> it's, it's a cool thing and you can put so many different, I think it holds up to, if you use all the pieces, if you use all the pieces that comes in the box, um, foil balloons, they set up to 400 um, flat foil, foil balloons. Keep going, 400. Like I told you, I had, I had, I had um, two, maybe, I'm, go, I'm gonna go with two, at least 225. 225 balloons going to, um, this thing here. So again, they want you to put water in the bottom. I don't put water in any of these things um, because if it's a hole somewhere, the water's coming out and then you're in trouble. So what I tend to do is I, I go to uh, the Depot or Lowe's and I get cement, uh, just a bag of cement and I mix it myself and put it in there. Guys, This thing is heavy, it feel like a weight, right? Oh, this one is heavy, this one got more awesome. in When I tell you this thing is heavy, it's very heavy. Okay, so, take it apart, that's what you do. So this one here is good to go. There's a hole in here, it's where I put my cement. That's where I put my cement. And it's not even completely dry. So when it gets completely dry, it's definitely gonna be um, twice as heavy. So on that on that note, we're done with this guys. So you guys should know now how to put it up, right? And how to take it down right there. Don't you move, 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 don't you move. Because guess what? I got another tour that I want you guys to see. And you know what? I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek because tomorrow I'm gonna to make two balloons columns that I'm gonna to put together and guys, I just got so many different ideas with these balloons. And I want you guys to come with me so don't you move. And remember, what you see today, I'm gonna to constantly do. I'm gonna make balloon um, garlands and, 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 and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do so many different things with balloons guys. And I want you guys to stay tuned I want you guys to follow me, I want you guys to like, and I want you guys to subscribe. You have to subscribe, because if you do that, then that keep me motivated to make more videos. I know that you guys like my video, if you, if you subscribe. And there's one more thing I need you to do. There's a bell somewhere over there, right? Y'all see that little bell? Guess what? If you click on that, then anytime, 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 anytime I upload a video, guess who will be the first to know? You, because it's gonna pop, bing, anytime I upload a video. So you'll be the first to know, okay? So stay right there, because we're gonna put, we're gonna put these balloon columns together, right? We're gonna have to open them boxes, and we're gonna have to put it together. You know I always tell you, this is the first time that I'm putting it together. So if I make a mistake, at least you can say, she said she didn't know what she was doing. I've, I've made um, balloon columns in the past, but I've decided that since I'm gonna be doing some professional balloon garlands and, 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 and arches and things, I need to step up my game, guys. So that's what I'm doing today, so stay right there. Toy I was telling you guys about. Yeah, I had this here yeah, for two weeks and I was going to open. I said, you know what? I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let you guys check it out. 
this base is very heavy. It's just like that, that um, base that I made over there when I put the um, cement in. This thing here is, I think it's made with steel. We're going to see. Um, guys, if I can, I'm going to leave um, in a description of where oh. I purchased it from down beneath. So, just look out for that if you guys are interested in this. So that's the skew, and um, put it a little bit closer. Give you time to copy it down if you need to. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. So maybe there's instructions. This box here. I swear, I tell you guys, I, it's like a, I'm in a candy store right now. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't wait to decorate this, baby. Yes, ma'am. And I'm trying to figure out what design I'm going to do. There's quite a few different designs you can do on a balloon column. So I'm thinking about using eight and 10 inch balloons and then using a lot of little tiny ones. Yes, me. Maybe you'll see it. So guys, I decided to do this on one of the hottest days. Today is Saturday, I think it's the 21st. And it's like 90 something degrees outside or 89 degrees, it feels like 90 something. And it's 8.30 and I have no air conditioner on. I have a small fan blowing at me and it's very, very hot. So I'm gonna try to move very, very quickly. Oh yeah. Okay then, so we got three poles. Why three? I, I don't know. I thought it was going to, oh, maybe they go up. I don't know. I thought it was going to be four. So, you guys are going to hold it. It, it extends. Ooh yes, it extends. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I'm gonna set up tonight. 
That way tomorrow I'll just get up and blow up about 200 to 300 balloons. We're not going to use this piece because my I'm, I'm doing balloon car. I'm doing a balloon car. If I was going to do um, uh, a backdrop, look how, look how long this thing is. So my God, imagine how long we can make. Oh, oh this is cool. Oh yes, man, this is cool. You can make some fabulous arches. a telescope crossbar that's going to go across the top which we're not going to do that's the stand base and this is the locking system right and you adjust it you can adjust it right you can bring it down and up so if you want a smaller arch you just bring it down this is great because you can make your balloon arches whatever size you want. Does not have to be. <clears throat> okay, so they said the stand base is 18 by 18. Like I said, in the past I have made my. <clears throat> My, my balloon columns, um, I use them and will continue to use them um, up to date. But if I wanna go and be professional, I decided that even if I use my bases that I made, this will be in the forefront. If I'm making quite a few columns, right? This will be in the forefront. This is what you will see. Mine's will be in the back. Um, there's nothing wrong with mine. You guys have seen me make um, um, balloon columns and balloon arches with mine um, all the way across my living room. Nothing is wrong with it, but like I said, to, to go to go professional, I'm going to need professional um, equipment to stand out, right? And so this is why I bought this. Guys, we're going to have some fun with this thing here. We're going to have some fun. So let me just lock this thing. Right? So this bottom part here, you twist it, and this is how you lock this base. Now, I see here, at the bottom, there's a hole here. So that's just in case if you want to put a stake in, say in some dirt or something. I guess you can purchase that, but I do have stakes that I know that will fit in this hole, so that's a good thing for me. Right? So that's a good thing for me. But yes, guys, this thing, this is going to be the, the, the deal long for me. Yes, it is. Photo booth. Here we go. And we're going to do that. You know we're going to do that, right? We can make some photos with just flowers. Right? So let's lock this in. Nice and sturdy. And if I was to um to really be um using it right now, I would definitely 
I would definitely tighten it a little bit tighter, especially at the bottom, the base, at the base. When, when you are to sleep, let me take you down and bring you up some so you guys can see. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Guys, it's gonna go off camera, but I'm just checking this out. Wow. So we can go. I believe they said this is three feet, three feet by five. Yes, height is adjust to 3.5. Three feet by five. So the base stand, this is this. This is 18 by 18. That's what that is. That's the base, 18 by 18. This whole piece here is, is, is 18 by 18. This can be adjusted to 3.5. Across will be 10 inches. I have made um, I have made my uh, my um columns. Um, was it was it 16? inches across yeah i believe my mine's was 16 i believe this is 16 inches across i believe let me see what's this let's see what this is i'm not sure oh, wow. this even go pretty far oh yeah oh yeah so this goes all the way almost all the way across my room. This thing is huge, guys. Oh my God. This is cool. This is cool. We're gonna use it all the way across too. You better believe that. So guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Crafting. I told you before, when you purchase something and you like, should I should I have? And you say yes. This right here, guys. This is it. I will never have to make another um, balloon column. Not unless I was doing an event and I needed something like uh, five pairs of balloon columns. Then I would go back and make more. But this right here will be in the front. This is professional. This is how, this is what the big boys use. Yes, this is what the big girls use. And I am in that game now, guys. So guys, I wanna, I wanna really thank you guys for hanging out with me and I know I took you through all of this here and I'm, and I just wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for constantly checking in on me. So guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Through Crafting. Remember, we're gonna put this, we're gonna put some balloons on this girl. Yes, ma'am, we are. So guys, that'll be part two.